Good evening everyone. In this video tonight we will do a um, general reading with Lenormand cards. Um, we'll do a grand tableau, we'll use the whole deck and we'll have a look what's happening right now in your life, what you need to know and uh, are there any bad cards, are there any good cards, you know, that sort of thing. So if you're interested, please think about your life right now think about what you need to know right now and choose a deck you can also choose a deck for your um, friend or a family member as well and take your time please Have it chosen. So let's start with our deck number one. Our deck number one is a <coughs> Russian fairy tale inspired deck, and it's a handmade deck. What do you need to know about your life right now? Okay, <clears throat> so this is our <clears throat> spread number one, grand tableau number one. And we will suppose that you're a woman, because most of our viewers are women. So we will find a woman card. If you're a male person, you can also pretend you're a woman today. And um, imagine, you know, that I'm talking about you, although we're talking about this person. So... This is a woman card, and first we will look around what's happening. So it's kind of not showing us the the past of this person. It doesn't show what happened in your past because it's in the first kind of the first person. It's in the beginning of the uh, grand tableau, and we have some sort of calm cards, very calm cards. We have uh, cards that remind me of some sort of nature, like you are resting in some sort of nat natural place maybe you're focusing on healthy living or something you know maybe you're focusing on some sort of um, diet eating salads and things this is clever lilies you know maybe you're with your partner like a man male par partner a friend you know it's it looks like you're in in a very healthy place right now like um, focusing on health focusing on some sort of rest you know like enjoying life like being on like maybe meditating more thinking about spirituality more thinking about your diet exercise more 
but in a very holistic natural way maybe herbs maybe na uh, you know nature that sort of feeling is there you know families also they're like kids and maybe father or hometown something like family is is there We have here like uh, a child coming, like maybe if you're an adult mother, you know, your children are big, maybe the children are coming somewhere uh, to you, you know, uh, like someone is coming and going, visiting, that sort of thing. And, and uh, we have a child, like a young person. Now, we're looking at the corners to, to we're kind of doing a very quick overview. So we have... Rider, Mountain, Moon, and Clever. So it's like what's happening right now is about someone wanting to come but is late, is being late. Like some sort of travel is blocked or you want to meet someone you cannot meet. And, uh, you know, like your plans are being broken. Maybe it's a lockdown thing or something. You cannot visit someone or... Because we have here as well the, the house is your family and the travel, some sort of travel. Like you want to go somewhere, but the mountain is kind of blocking it. The, the cross is also like something difficult about it, difficult about your plans on traveling somewhere. And again, this talk can talk about some ch children's element and uh, the secret also unknowingness. And with the child, we have these parts, which I think is... Uh, talking about some difficulty when it comes to the child. Yeah, like, you know, you want to visit somewhere, you want, maybe it's a birthday or something happening, and you kind of want, and you're happy, but here, it talks travel, family, and block. Late. Something's late. And, um, uh, we, we might have some sort of health issue, actually. Maybe you're healing, maybe you're focusing on healing or something. Um, but it's like a very interesting issue, very important issue for you right now. Uh, prolonged, some sort of spiritual, mental, physical health issue. It's maybe some chronic pain or something happening yeah, with health. And it's really annoying. It's... Uh, really like suffering and uh, some sort of like chronic uh, like a habit habitual thing is happening for sure like you're almost used to it you're almost enjoying it you know when the illness becomes a part of life um, people kind of adapt to it and they start um, kind of almost enjoying it secretly like if it was gone then it would be the same something like that now, and what is it about? Maybe digestion, maybe digestion, maybe mixed, some sort of things. Okay. You know, by the way, there can be two children here, two children also in the house. Something either you cannot leave, either someone cannot come. So that sort of feeling is coming. Now, when it comes to you, we have this dog near you. It can actually talk about real dogs, that you own dogs or have dogs. It can talk about just some sort of sense that you are surrounded by people who are your friends. And, um, you know, there is abundance of that. Abundance of friends, abundance of conversations, um, socializing, mostly male company happening you know and um, and there's some sort of talking about maybe children about care about how to, about the family maybe how to take care of people some sort of maybe group family conversation and um, there are there are some there is happiness and healing connected to work maybe you find your work healing for you 
but there is also doubts about your work lots of doubts uh, but you overcome those doubts you overcome those doubts and you fo refocus on your dreams something like that like you refocus on your dreams and you're very clear about those dreams you know what you want and I feel there is something in you that is kind of leading you leading it's very psychic it's very intuitive um, it can be related with art creation mm, spirituality that sort of thing So if we unite you, we have a child, children are important for you. I think uh, you might be thinking a lot about your children or someone else's children, basically children, young people, maybe you're responsible, maybe you work with children, all sorts of things like that, um, you know, and it shows you're stressed, uh, busy and stressed, you know, you always not calm you know you always kind of when you wake up you're like buzzing in your head and we have work uh you stress and i think you you have a work you have a job you always you also think about that job thing here uh we have a situation um might be a little bit a problem with communication with your partner for example like some sort of like difference uh different from before you know your um, communication your how you are with your partner because we have this anchor it's like stability but then there is this paths it's like almost a breakup almost like not a breakup but like totally different maybe you suspected them of something and then the death again coming it's like now it's all okay you forgot about this breakup thing and uh, again you talk to to your partner husband or part boyfriend or whatever and and it's kind of not working some sort of block is there so communication with a partner might be di difficult like something is not tuning in you're having difficulties tun tuning into each other's um, frequencies like it might seem that you talk Maybe they think about one thing in their life, you think about the other thing. And kind of when you start talking to each other, you, you see that you're kind of not related even. Because you're on different frequency levels, vibrational levels, let's see. So your, your person, your partner might be also worried about their work, money. Some sort of stability is being challenged. They are nervous. They might um, think about maybe leaving a job or something like that. You know, they're very worried about their work. A child also, child um, is stressed as well. Uh, even their health is a little bit, might be how to say, something they're doing that is not good for their health, for example, stress. Um, it shows stress, they are talking a lot, they're focusing on their school, and uh, they're, but they don't get lots of social uh, socializing, you know, with kids maybe, with their classmates, something like that here, and it might be painful for them sometimes to be in the house, maybe they overstayed or something like that like it's really like already difficult you know to stay in the house or stay in the wherever uh, they might have anxiety when socializing but also they might um something to do with family and home and, and things like that but they're accepting and they are accepting everything is fine it's just can't show that you know um, maybe they need more kind of spending time in nature again spending time with animals and um, kind of spending time in fresh air I would say I choose low energy levels of a child the man is very energetic and optimistic and kind of 
lots of energy also focusing on work and stressed out but it's kind of good stress for them might be good or not very good but the over overall an optimistic being optimistic being but they also have their own suffering going on um talking about money we do have a sense of working but not earning working but not earning kind of like running in one place with that money thing like rat race you you work you work but you don't make any money you know it's just like rat race rat wheel Uh, there is no clarity about your comfortability in your work, but there is no clarity what will happen in the future. You don't have any plan, basically. And uh, But I think money will come to you, although you don't have any plan, although right now it might be bad. Right now it might seem that you don't make more than you usually make, but... I think it just it just will come. It doesn't depend on you, it just will come in the longer run for you. Now you seem to be focusing on some sort of maybe spiritual experiences. You want some answers that are related with something important, life, spirituality, health. Your husband seems to be <laughs> worried about uh, love affairs, you know. So either they're guilty about something or someone, or maybe they're just thinking about some love matter. And let's see what's be between you. Okay, between you, we don't have a joining dots thing. We have basically dog. So we have kind of some sort of chaos. We have many friends, people, conversations, talking. So many is happening. So much is happening between you two. Maybe it's even uh, phone calls about work. Always busy on the phone calls. You and them always on the phone. You know, always talking to your colleagues or your friends or family. And basically it's so busy and stuffed that you don't have time for each other maybe that sort of situation now looking at you and your child if you have children by the way if you don't have children this child can be your some young friend or sibling or something like that so we have really good cards friendliness is there friendly talking friendliness some sort of trust now the man and child is also love and that friendliness, like friends uh, you might be for your children. Okay, so um, so this is our um, reading for, for now. I know it's very quick. We cannot cover the whole thing. We can analyze this the whole day. Um, there are many, many things that can be seen in this. And is there anything to be worried about? I, I think just stress, stress about work and money you have to somehow try to not to be stressed that much when it comes to your work. Um, depending on what's happening, how old are you, etc. The situation can cause you to have some sort of midlife crisis or some crisis. Like... Again, the uh, the stress is coming from the public, from the social media, from people, from other people. So, and especially internet, internet, and uh, it's too much of internet, you know. We have the sun, it's like some fever going on, internet fever, too much going on. You cannot go anywhere. Hard to connect with people, hard to s communicate somehow. So that is not existent. Traveling is not non-existent right now. Well, at home everything is fine, but there seems to be many things that you don't know about your family and home. There is some sort of a book. So maybe secret pregnancy for some people. Maybe one of you is secretly pregnant. 
but you don't know it yet, you know. There's something uh, very happy, very good, everything is great, but the book is here. So book represents secrets. So it might say the secret is to do with uh, something. Now, what about this? Maybe I cannot confirm that this is pregnancy, so maybe it's, um, you know, just people talking something, you know, maybe it's coming from outside even, from the public. I have to be careful, you know, who, who you mm, meet, who you talk to, uh, any possible enemies around the house. So don't trust people very easily, especially that are strangers that are not related to you, not inside the house, from outside the house. Let's see, because I don't know what it is. What kind of secret is there? Okay, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords. So something with um, someone who worked for you. Uh, there might have been a conflict with someone. Maybe you fired someone or, you know... Someone who worked for you, maybe you hired someone, maybe something happened and you had a fight with that person. Someone might be talking bad things. What are they trying to do? Um, it just shows right now uh, some sort of fight, uh, conflict or argument that someone is planning. Maybe over children. You know, maybe something, something. A device. King of Wands, Twelve, Judgment. Basically, I feel like tell someone, call someone who is far away about it. Tell someone who is far away about it and um, like family member, tell your family member about it or even move. So I, I don't know about this, you know, it can be different for different people, it can be something minor, it can be just, maybe it's nothing, you know, maybe it's just family members are, because uh, we have uh, nighting. This is nighting the park, so I suppose that this is about someone from outside. But maybe it's the family members just gossiping and neighbors are gossiping about you, which is kind of common. Okay, this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two now. I'm going to pause the video and pick up the cards and we'll start. This is our <clears throat> deck number two. This is uh, our deck. Inspired by post stamps <clears throat> from all over the world. So let's start. We're looking into your life. <clears throat> these cards fell out. Well, these are good cards. Talks ab talk about some sort of spiritual messages, psychic messages. It can be creative ideas or just a good health, healing, etc. Whoops, choices. Garden. Can be some sort of a very good connection with people, good social skills. So Number two, what do we need to know about your life right now? Okay, this is our death card, coffin. Okay, most likely um, either the end of a job. For example, you left your job. and uh, uh, Or you maybe left something behind. It can be you left a situation that you found to be dishonest.
you maybe you stopped having an affair with someone you stopped uh, meeting with a man or something and uh, maybe i mean if you were having an affair you stopped having it and uh, stop talking or thinking about that person and you decide to focus on your family or home or parents or your spouse looks like you have a great uh, some sort of connection with a big amount of people Maybe it's your work, maybe it's social media, maybe it's where you work. And it's kind of mixed. Uh, some might, uh, you know, talk bad behind your back. But some might actually praise you. And this thing might, it be, might be a lot of both. And it might also, I don't know, make you money. And it's kind of a happy experience as, as a whole. Okay, this is our heart card love so we have like a very intense uh, some sort of maybe sexual or intimate or um, romantic experience here um, happiness in love life some sort of messages are coming and uh, well it can be from a young person it can be a new partner that you met We have an older person far away. Um, like some sort of separation. Someone important is someone you respect and who is important for you. Uh, like an older person, might be in another country or something. Like you almost don't know where they are or in that sort of situation. Like there is. Like they left me, maybe you even forgot about them, about how they look, about, you know. And there is uh, some sort of miserable feeling about that separation. With that, I have a very good friend or um, relative. This is Bear. So I interpret it as like a relative, grandma, mother, father, that sort of thing. So thinking you're a female, we're looking... At your car, at your uh, the cars around you, and we have some sort of something okay, I don't want to say um. The first thought that came is something sexual. Something sexual, something like you don't want to tell anyone about. And because um, we have these romantic cards here, like very intense, um, maybe meeting a soulmate or something, losing the virginity almost, that sort of thing is here. It can be losing the virginity or about to do something crazy but not doing it you know so so overall let's say we have some sort of secret uh, um, um, on your you're thinking about something you don't want to tell anyone it's uh, it will be a problem if someone would get to know about it That sort of feeling is here. You know, this is intense love. Intense love kind of, it feels very intense. Like it's like almost psychic experience type of love. Maybe it's um, being in love with a soulmate, being in love with a person with whom you have a karmic relationship because we have these cards. It's interesting. <coughs> And here we have some sort of mm, like separation or travel. Like most likely someone you care about <clears throat> is far away. You don't know where they are. And there is some heavy feeling about that separation. There are heavy feelings about that separation. We have that man 
<clears throat> but I think you kind of separated or you stopped thinking about them that much. So let's see, talking about your love, I feel there's something very active going on when it comes to love. There is stability, there is a presence of someone in your love life, but it's not all beautiful. It's like they're there and they're not there also, the coffin card. Maybe there was a flirt or some sort of um, one-night stand, I don't know, like recently. Or maybe it's just something uh, fun with friends, you know, maybe flirted with someone uh, or someone flirted with you even. Maybe nothing happened, but th those sort of, sort of cards um, are here. The fox, you know, which is kind of cheeky, but it's also work. And the clever, which is kind of a chance and like flirt and fun. So things like that. These cards are interesting. Uh, I don't know what they refer to actually we have this like a travel something travel um, important either it happened or someone traveled or you're thinking about it basically that sort of situation sense of loss is there um Again, we have something similar to being worried about health. Something worried about health. Um, maybe it's allergy, maybe it's weather changing, maybe it's some sort of, maybe it's the virus thing, maybe you're going through the virus thing or something. That's why the coffin can mean illness. And uh, we're going like this. Something from nature, like a small bacteria. Uh, which uh, may compromise your health, you know, and still the effects are there. But it's small, it's gonna get smaller and smaller. But still, it's not pleasant, it's still annoying. <clears throat> now, something with that man is like secret, dreaming, thinking, and confusion. So it's like maybe there is a crush or something, uh, maybe there is someone you're interested in, maybe it's something you're not sure about. Because we have so much secrecy about that man. It's like maybe you have a dilemma of like a choice to make. Whether this is appropriate not appropriate. Because we have something like that going on here. We have problems with some sort of relationship. Like maybe marriage, maybe dating. You don't know what to do about it. There is a sense of loneliness. But there is a sense of long term connection as well uh, so we have uh, like lying when it comes to um, white lies some sort of white lies maybe this I don't know someone's lying to you or you lying to them maybe it's related to that man and that relationship also <clears throat> Some sort of big transaction, financial. Uh, talking about home, it seems like someone is coming to your house and family who you don't like. There is um, people you don't like. Um, I don't know, maybe. Maybe you want someone to come, but they're not coming. There is lack of visits, lack of visitors. Maybe it's talking about some sort of people who come who you don't like. So I'm not getting exactly that. Like some messages, maybe some calls are coming, you know. <clears throat> And in the future, we have like a decision to make, to go on a holiday or not. Some sort of holiday or 
something maybe with children, if you have children, that sort of situation. Younger people, yeah. So talking about love, I definitely think there are some sort of secrets connected with your love life. Either you having a crush or someone has on you and there is a little bit of hiding going on. Hiding and lying. The person might be also very... Um, kind of hard to resist type of person very ener um, good energy good vibe very positive very bright very i don't know energetic and um one might see why it's this person might be very uh attractive you know so let's have a look because the main thing here, I think, is love. Like in the previous reading, I think it was work. Here is something more about love. Like the cards I'm more focusing on. Oops. So we have this four of wands, wands and page of swords. So it's like a married couple being together. But there, there are lies happening in that family. So it talks about danger and traps trap and danger when it comes to your existing relationship show me about that man empress hangman so it seems that uh like it's not happening the relationship is not happening it's stuck it's ended now maybe it's because due to your own indecision or maybe it's due to their own indecision what to do um what should you do about this person well it encourages you to talk to them and kind of be um, co um, communicate more with that person um, yeah but it might be at be nice to that person communicate with that person might be a little bit you know like in a working environment you just polite with a person so, where is the relationship right now? Well, I feel there were feelings, but they left. Uh, you're not together, but there are still feelings. Um, should you be with this person as a romantic partner? You know, they might have someone else, this person. You know, like another female. And uh, it might just talk about um, work, king, relationship. So, I think they would not uh, sacrifice for you anything. And they would not do anything. You know, they just like uh, wouldn't do anything. You know, this person. When it comes to some sort of uh, clever thinking and being street smart and doing all sorts of lying and, and all that stuff, they will not want to do it. So, where to focus right now if in your life? Where to focus right now on some sort of um, changes, you know, changes like change your life, reconstruct your life. It's a good time to change things, uh, move on from things that you've been trying not to, trying to keep, trying to preserve. Um, it says move on from those things, you know, that sort of thing. It says focus on your family, mm, try to, if you try to avoid doing that before, so it's kind of counter blessings and um, it can point totally to that traditional simple type of life and focusing on your family. 
Okay, so this was our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. And actually, I'm going to do it in the next video. Because one reading takes about 20 minutes, so I will not be able to fit in. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Now in video number two, we're gonna have readings three and four. So thank you and see you later. Bye.